As an aspiring music journalist, it's my role to keep a finger on the pulse of the local scene and determine which bands are the most likely to hit mainstream success. I think I found a band that has a ton of potential, and tonight I'm going to have the opportunity to interview them at their first ever live show. Needless to say, I'm very excited about this prospect, and I think you'll be interested by what I'm about to ask this band, Belladonna, one of Denver's top acts. So stay tuned, and we're going to hear an interview for it in just a sec here. But first, I've got to make my way across Denver all the way out to Lakewood to get to this place. <laughs> it's so confusing. Okay, I guess it's on the other end of Union Station. Here we go. I've been using the light rail more and more as of late, and it is a crazy efficient system. It's, it's really good. Denver really does have some of the best infrastructure in the United States. It's actually kind of unsettling how good the public transportation is here in Denver. I mean, imagine if I lived in Houston or something. I couldn't get anywhere. Here it is, the W line. Can't say I've tried the, the W line. This one's a new one on me, so. Here we are out in Lakewood, the middle of nowhere. And I've got to walk about six blocks to get to the show, but this should be pretty fast here. I really like this wall here. I had no idea Lakewood was so wacky and eclectic and whoa. Dinosaurs. When I heard this was going to be Belladonna's first ever concert, I knew I had to pop up. I mean, just imagine the exclusivity of that. Now, as of right now, I'm sold out of Nick Cicada's greatest hits on cassette, but I have one copy left, and if Belladonna is willing to answer my questions tonight, then they'll win that copy. So that's pretty snazzy, wouldn't you say? Just a few blocks away at this point, I think I can see it way up in the distance there. Sometimes the best live music can only be found way, way, way out, way out here in Lakewood. Oh, here we go. A sign for live music, Saturday and Sunday. I like this sign. What's that, like a like a needle, like a bike pump? I guess it's like an IV. Live, like the the I is pumping life into the V there. Well, if, if that ain't something, am I right? All right, then here we are. Okay, so we're out here, out here with Belladonna. Hi. Hello. Mac and Rach, right? Rachel, yeah. How'd you get started as a band? We were in this class. It's called General Recital. It was student networking day. We said, fuck this. This is terrible. I'm not meeting anyone I care about. And then we get to the end of it and Rachel's like, hi, I'm Rachel. And I'm like, hi, I'm Mac. And she's like, jam sesh after this, right now, come to it if you want to. I don't even know who you are, just come to the jam. And I was like, <laughs> okay. And then I was the only one that showed up, and then we said, let's be a band. I'll maybe add some detail to okay. that. Um, we met through school, uh, and then Mac came to a recording session that Josh and I had. We were gonna work on a different song with Josh on drums. Um, she came by, she was the only one who showed up, she already said that, and uh, she showed us one of her songs and we all just kind of mutually fell in love. And so we tried, we started off trying to just record her stuff with Josh, having drumming behind the acoustic guitar, and it was kind of working, but it also kind of wasn't working. And honestly, I'm not really sure when we got to the point where it was like, oh, we should do a band and we need an electric guitar in here. I don't remember either. I think it was definitely after um, she showed Overdose to Josh. I wasn't yeah. there for this and he was obsessed. And he showed me the next day. We were like, okay, I guess we start jamming together. Yeah. <laughs> Not 
genre would you, you define what you play as? I usually say folk punk with blues influence. I would start with, I would copy verbatim what she says. Folk, yeah. punk, folk <laughs> punk with what influence? Blues. Blues, blues influence. I, I, I catch the blues in there definitely. <laughs> Lots of blues. <laughs> On some songs more than others. Definitely. For sure. Why, why that genre in particular? What draws you to, to folk and punk? We are raised in a society where that's the music that changed the country that we have and it's you know you grow up and you listen to we're just a, an accumulation of all of the different influences that we've had and then trying to put our own spirit and our own like the energy of our trio into all of that um, it's not why do you choose this it's just we start writing songs and that's what they come out as I was gonna say I hate labels and I have a strong sense of identity and I think that this music encompasses the like the colors and the sound of my identity as a person but turns out identity doesn't really match with labels and fit inside boxes so that's why we have turns out. a genre that has three genres in it folk having revolutionized the 1960s and punk having revolutionized the 1980s you kind of get the best of both worlds you'd say yes. yeah and theoretically it's it's so hard to do something new with music today without going into i mean you could we can go into the kind of stuff that you make nick definitely but if you want to be original with music you're kind of out of luck so at this point just taking all of these beautiful influences and trying to combine them is i think it's a good way to start it's a good way to get going and get mm -hmm. kind of our contemporary voice out yeah. living in a very strange world where like if punk hadn't occurred in the 80s and like swept the nation it would be happening now because of the yeah. disenfranchisement of, of suburbia youth so it would be the same story over again we're repeating it uh, i think you're on the cutting edge i mean i can't really name right too many songs that sound like yours they all sound very good that's like the best compliment ever you say is important to uh, to Denver to get your sound? Like why did we choose Denver? Uh, how would Denver benefit from your sound? Do you think? Well, personally, Denver has a lot of room for growth. I, I know that Denver has a really good live music scene and right. the reason that I decided to pursue music was to play live. To play with a band on a stage with the lights and the sound. And it's kind of Denver's stick. The music provides to a community isn't the genre of music it provides, it's the community that it creates. And I think we have such good positive energy and um, we, we just deliver good vibes, honesty, mm -hmm. acceptance. That's the kind of community that Denver could use more of. Not that it doesn't yeah. already have that, but the community that music creates. All right, that's an interesting yeah. philosophy. I think we're also really good at authenticity. Okay. So, I don't know if I would think that Denver or people Maybe. would like need our sound. I think it's just that we're bringing something new because it's authentic. So, you know, like something they didn't okay. know they need. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah, been... Songs of yours would you recommend? <laughs> All of them. Which is your favorite? Uh, OD say? has got to be my favorite. Control is a close second. Love Me is really fun. Love Me is probably my favorite, um, but, but it's so close with Control. I think Control is the song that I play where I just start smiling and get into my zone. I feel so confident on it. Yeah. Yeah.
equipment do you use? Shit, that's a big question. I have a Les Paul Epiphone. It's not super fancy, but it, it works really well. I think it's got great tone. I like it because I can transition to jazz really easily. We try to incorporate a lot of interesting jazz chords and stuff like that into what we do. And pretty much whatever amp is available. I'm on a Fender Mustang most of the time, but uh, Oh, yeah. It just doesn't matter. I play on a acoustic Sigma. I wasn't playing on it tonight, but she's getting fixed. It's okay. Right. I play on an acoustic Sigma, and my bass is a Dean. I don't know anything more than that. I got a second hand. Yeah. Second hand guitars are often the best. I strongly agree. Yeah, totally. And they, they can surprise you. My guitar is second hand too. It's they can surprise you with the story. Yes. the character. I personify my instrument so much. I'm just like, what have you been through? Yeah. <laughs> How do you record a song? How's the recording process go for the front? It's, front it's a shit show and we haven't figured it out yet. Spontaneous? We've been going, we've been trying to record through the studios at CU Denver and they're very nice studios, great equipment. Great equipment, great people, but uh, because of the nature of the studios that they're open to everyone in the recording <laughs> arts um, yeah. program, they're never consistent. We're, every time we're going in, it's a new battle, it's a new, some wire has been crossed and now the whole thing doesn't work. So all of our recording endeavors have been very frustrating so far. I think at this point, what we want to do is just just find someone to do it for us, basically. I get, I get a, a better, more focused studio. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. I think the process would be mostly live. I think we um, we work so well together as a band when we're all playing together. That's where our energy comes from. So I think recording live and then doing any overdubs that are needed would be the way to go. You work, you work better live than in a studio. <laughs> Ooh. Wow. Yeah, live as opposed to like overdubbing. And, I just, yeah. I don't know anything about producing, <laughs> and I love playing live. <laughs> so I think it works great for it's me. like live Because I don't know what the fuck I'm doing over there. And this. <laughs> First ever live show, right? As a, well, we've we've performed before. This is our first official gig. At the open mic, but this is your first like full set. Exactly. Yes, this is our yes. first full set. So there's history here. Yes. Yeah, there's history. Yeah, this, this is, is Belladonna. You're on He's, the cutting edge. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Exactly. I mean, you're on the cutting edge. We're uh, all theoretically, yeah. Yeah, I suppose the theoretically, but there's like there's there's some real history here. Yes. The historic moment. Thank you yes. for capturing. Thank you for yes. yeah. Thank you so much. To the viewers on the internet, where can they find you on social media or hear your songs or at Belladonna dot band. Okay. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So our Instagram handle is Belladonna dot band. Same thing with TikTok. And Facebook. And Facebook. Right. We're in the process of getting songs recorded and released, like we said. It's it's been a mess, but we're gonna get there yeah. very soon. You wanna make sure the recorded studio versions are as as top tier as possible. Absolutely, we, yeah. Kind we kind of care about that. We more just want it to be competent. As long as it represents us, it doesn't have to be like the this picture perfect Gautier, I don't know, whatever yeah. the best producers type stuff. Yeah. Okay. Um, production value is is second to authenticity. <laughs> that's your uh, especially cuz we're poor. 
Oh. Yeah. Well, that, that's uh, that's where you can find Belladonna.band, Instagram, TikTok, Facebook. Yeah, exactly. Okay, and in this video, which will be edited and uploaded probably in about probably by tonight. then people well what did I tell you did Belladonna rip up the stage or what I'm in some kind of warehouse labyrinth here out in the middle of nowhere in Lakewood Colorado there is a pretty impressive crowd all of whom had come out to see Belladonna one of Denver's top-notch cutting-edge bands who's gonna revolutionize the music game. It's, it's really great music. And if you live in the Denver area, I highly recommend coming out to see Belladonna Live, because they tear up the stage. They go insano mode on it. Anyway, that's it for this little music vlog, this little, this little music interview thing. And I have no idea where I am. Lakewood is crazy. Better get back to Denver. Anyway, that's it for this video. Ooh, green. I feel like I'm in The Machinist right now. Or The Fly or something. Watch out. It's gonna, gonna get, gonna get fly, gonna get flied.